Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my Windows 8 table. So uh, I actually had a table custom made so that I can place a Windows 8 tablet device inside of it so that we can use it as a family, but my uh, oldest daughter loves to color. So it's one of the things that she uh, uses quite often now uh, with both her fingers and a stylus, like a pastel stylus that we have for it too. But let me show you a little bit about it. It is a, just a standard lift top table. So um, it does lift up like this. And if I wanted to, I can use a uh, standard laptop or my Surface device on here as if I were just working normally. Uh, but what makes this really special is the uh, device that is placed inside of it. So I have a Sony Tab 20 uh, sitting inside this right now and it's laying flush. But what you can actually also do here is um, take the device out or set the device up. Because the table was built with uh, storage inside of it, it actually sits flush on the table. Um, but I can also use it basically as an all-in-one as well. Uh, the other nice thing is you just unplugged it, is that it's actually a true tablet. It's got a battery inside of it. So I can set it up in the table if I wanted to basically just use it like a standard all-in-one. I could lift it up even. I have uh, room inside the table where I could store like a mouse and keyboard that I could pull it out like, uh, like a true all-in-one. But again, I think what's really nice about this is the um, ability to have it flush. And when I bought the Sony Tab 20, I actually, um, I actually had the uh, Sony protective cover uh, purchased with it. So that's definitely if you're gonna use it in this type of uh, environment, you're gonna wanna have that. It's, it's a very nice cover. It's, uh, it's barely actually even noticeable. And it also cuts down a lot on the gloss of the screen. So um, you, you can actually spill something on top of it without it actually damaging the screen. Uh, the other nice thing is I wanted to make sure that because the device is portable and we, if we chose to use it in another room or take it out or whatever, I can actually fully take the device out and inside the table, I actually have um, a piece that will slide right into the table so that it's uh, more of a traditional, I guess, family room table. Um, you just have the little cutout here that you can see, but it, uh, it actually is fairly functional as just a normal table without, without again, the, uh, the Sony device inside of it. Okay, here is uh, my uh, Sony Tab 20 in the table. Uh, just to give you an idea of, uh, you know, how, how we use it, um, how my daughter Molly uses it, but it's uh, this has the uh, protective screen cover on it. You can't even really tell that there's a protective screen cover on it. The one that's uh, specifically designed by Sony for this device is actually really nice. And it also helps with um, the glossy screen. It's an extremely glossy screen without this cover, but um, with the cover, it's really durable and it uh, gives a little bit of a matte finish. Uh, what I wanted to show is just maybe a couple of the things that my daughter likes to do with it. Obviously, we have um, the Disney princesses that she'll like to do sometimes. Um, so you can see this going, which is a great app for if you have kids or specifically girls that uh, love Disney and love Disney princesses. For some reason, my daughter just loves this intro, and that's about it. So um, we'll just close that guy down. Um, and then obviously, one of the big uh, apps that she always uses is Fresh Paint. So. Fresh Paint's a great app, and we've actually uh, bought a few of the uh, in-app purchases because she loves again Disney. So we have the um, we do have the Finding Nemo pack. So you have all these options to color with. Um, she loves Nemo, so we'll just you know we'll pick we'll pick one that's. Uh... So what's nice about this is that she'll she also has a lot of coloring books that she colors with, so she can have the option to either color with her hands. Or, um, you know, we've picked up this stylus here that actually works pretty well. And what's nice about this stylus, um, it, you know, it does have a little, you have to press a little bit hard on it. What's nice about this stylus is that it actually is like a pen too. So it has different, has different nubs that um, are smaller and lighter. But specifically, if you have kids that are going to use this, don't ever get a stylus that does not have a nub on both sides. So this one actually does, so uh, my daughter doesn't necessarily always know uh, 
which side's the uh, right side. So she does like to use the stylus sometimes to color just because she's used to doing that on her uh, coloring books. So, uh, you know, those are the things that uh, she likes to do, but if you think about it, there's other options that you can use this for is just kind of like a family device. So we have um, Slacker Radio, which I which I love. Um, you could use it as a music device and listen to music here because actually, um, it's uh, this device is actually pretty loud. Um, one of the other games that she loves to play, you'll hear this is at the volume's at 50%. So um, she loves to play Fruit Ninja. And so now on a bigger screen, she's used to it um, on a smaller screen, but now you can actually get in the game with her. So while she's playing over here, I can be helping her over here. And so because this device supports obviously 10 points of input, we can use both of our hands to actually play the game. So that's that's a that's a great a great kind of game that you can play together with uh, with your kids. Uh, the other one is um, I have this app called Camera Case because I have um, uh, my video monitors that are um, in both of my daughter's rooms. So this is uh, Molly's room, Maddie's room. You click on it, it, actually has full sound. I don't know if you can hear it. Obviously, they're not sleeping. It's uh, middle of the day. Uh, but what's nice about this is that I can pull this up real quick if uh, I wanted to just have a device that's constantly monitoring them. Um, so that's nice, uh, nice use of it. And then one of my favorite apps um, is Plex. So if you haven't checked out Plex in the Windows App Store, it's great. So I take a lot of photos and a lot of I have a lot of media. Um, so what I've done is I have actually a home server that's not the traditional Microsoft home server, but just a little NAS device that has all of my photos. Um, on there. So if we have friends over or family over, instead of me having to convert every single one of the pictures I take, actually Plex goes out, finds that network share um, when I tell it where, where I'm storing all my photos at, um, and then gives me the option to, and I'll just drill into, these are just the dates, so I'll drill into um, Easter. Um, what's nice is that these photos are all the high res raw photos that I didn't have to convert convert to JPEG. So I take um, all my photos in raw, um, and which is nice is that it also gives me just kind of a quick view into some of the photos. Um, and so, you know, you could just click in and start going in. And these again are raw photos. So it's doing some of the conversion so that you can view it. Um, you could scroll through them actually pretty nicely. Um, and again, there's a, it's just one of those things that gives me a, a real quick way when friends or family over just to kind of say, hey, take a look at some photos. You can just flip through here and take a look at them all. So uh, another, again, one of, my, uh, one of my favorite apps to use specifically for this device. Um, I could also look at the home videos that I take of them uh, all through Plex. So, I, I mean, obviously there's tons more usages, I think, for this type of device. What I'm really looking forward to is when board games start to take their traditional kind of box uh, and board to a digital surface. And that's when I think this, this type of device will really, will really shine when you could have a bunch of people sitting around a table playing those kinds of devices or those, those kinds of games.